Cheha State Park and we're just now pulling in. We haven't settled in. Uh, he's trying to call and see if we can change our campsite location. Um, we want to tell you a little bit about this park, Cheha State Park in Alabama, the highest point in Alabama. So we want to talk to you a little bit about it, uh, show you around. First of all, um, this is our site and we are here on a Thursday before Memorial Day weekend. We wanted to come in last night. I called about a week ago to see if we could come in last night because we needed a place to stay last night. And she said no, they were completely booked. Completely full. Full, people. Let's look around. So as you can see, they have 50 something campsites. I don't know the exact number. And uh, there's one camper in sight, maybe three. So we could have come in after all and she told me they were completely full. So not excited about that oversight or lack of accurate information. And he's just trying to call. We have no service. He's trying to call the office to see if he could be in this site right here that's behind him. Instead of the one that they have us in, which is not desirable. But he doesn't have service to call down the hill there. Well, do you want to just pull in here and disconnect and drive down there? Would it be worth it? Well, look, I, I mean, I know it's Memorial Day and they may have people coming in. I'm sure they do, but they've got plenty of sites right now. So why don't you just, do you want to back into the one you're wanting, maybe, and then disconnect and go down there and ask her? Because, yeah, this site is, I mean, it looks like, this is called the Upper, uh, what's it called? Upper Improved Campground. And as you can see, I mean, it's got nice new... I think the campsites are nice and new. I mean, look, the, the firing is brand new. The, the, the table's brand new. The wood outline there's brand new. I thought that was for a lizard for a minute. I thought I was back in South Florida. There's another fire pit over there. That looks nice. But it's very sparse as in people. There's not many campers at all. Which... But yeah, see that hill that goes downhill? He wouldn't be able to get level. I'm going to go have service to him. Well... That's not going to work. I understand. And by the time I get down there, the office will probably be have to quit recording and we get on our speaker phones and I'll have to help him back get getting on our speaker phones because you know the phones don't work up here So we were able to move to the site that I've dropped the trailer in. The site that they had us in was going to be really hard to get level because it kind of humps down. Um, so what's happening is the campground that we're in, it was an existing campground, but they're totally redoing the campground. So it looks like a brand new campground. And they're doing what they're calling a soft opening to where they're only opening certain sites as they become available. Because uh, there's one site up here that they're, that they're still working on trying to get it.
completed. So that's what's happening. And the bottom line is she she didn't communicate that with me when I called last week to see if we could come right. last night. She could have explained that, but she actually said that it was full. Yeah. So that led me, when we arrived, that led me to think she was giving me misinformation or being lazy or whatever. Okay, so now you've got to get us plugged in because we have the RV issues that they can see in another video. You guys come to Ch uh, Cheha State Park, you're going to need to... Some of the camp's heights are interesting. Like one of them, there's two or three tiers from the campsite, tiers of of wood and gravel or steps or platforms if you will to get up to your fire ring and your table and a lot of them are hilly um, sites which we understand we're on you know a mountain but we get that but it's almost like you have to come here and know which site you're going to want before you camp especially if you have a big rig like we do I wanted to give you my impressions of Chiha State Park and some information to go along with that. Overall, Chiha State Park was really enjoyable for us. Um, it, it is on the Chiha Mountain, which is the highest point in Alabama. And so one of the things you need to understand is as you're going to Chiha State Park, especially if you're pulling a big rig, um, you know that you're that you're doing uh, the roads are switched back there's a lot of hills to get to it once once you get into Chiha State Park one of the things that's that is interesting to note from a campground standpoint is that the roads are narrow um, I mean they're they're normal I want to say they're normal width roads, but because of the lay of the land in the campgrounds, there's some pretty sharp turns. And if you've got a really big rig, it makes it a little tougher to navigate those sharper turns. So just, just know that if you decide to go here. Uh, another thing that you need to understand is that Chiha State Park has two different campgrounds. It has a, uh, an upper campground that has 40 campsites in it, and it has a lower campground that has 32 campsites. And when you say upper and lower, um, the lower is considerably lower than the upper as far as uh, elevation. The uh, upper campsite is right near the highest point in Alabama. This is the campsite that we stayed in. All, all of the campsites have 20, 30, and 50 amp hookups. They have water, they have sewer. If you go to reserve a campsite and you do it online or you call them and do it, and, and or you call them and make a reservation, you need to talk to them and make sure they understand the size of your rig because the campsite they had us in, as you saw in this video, was not going to work for us just because of the way it was made. It had it listed as an 80 foot site. Well that 80 foot site is from the entrance of it to the exit of it, but it doesn't take into account uh, the lay of the land of that site as far as what size RV will fit in the site so you need to be very cautious on on the sites that you get when you go there like I said especially if you have a big rig as of 2019 all of the campsites the upper and lower campground uh, have been totally refurbished. They've put in new roads, they've redone all the campsites with uh, everything as gravel pads and the, and the campsites are lined with uh, six by six treated timbers. Um, they all have either a fire ring with a barbecue grate on it or a barbecue grill. 
I think most of them where we were, were the fire ring with the barbecue grate on it. All in all, I think it was a, I feel like it was a really good campsite, really good campground. We really enjoyed our time there. Wish we had have had more time there, but um, we weren't a, we weren't able to stay as long as we would have and would have liked to. But um, so that's just kind of an overall general impression of uh, our stay at Chiha State Park. So we now have Alabama.